Hello everyone. In this video, I want to be going over nested elements, a new feature that Elementor just released. So what are nested elements and how do you get them and use them? Well, right now, the first nested element that we can use is the tabs widget. And basically nesting just means that it allows you to put one element inside of another, something that you could not do in Elementor before. So before you do anything to activate this feature, it's currently an Elementor experiment. So you need to go to Elementor, Settings, Experiments, and you need to have the Flexbox container experiment turned on as a requirement and the nested elements uh, turned on as well. So you wanna activate both of those and hit Save Changes. Um, and you wanna make sure you're on the most recent version of Elementor. So what does this uh, new feature do? Let me show you. So it works with the tabs widget. So we're gonna bring in here a tabs widget and show you what you can do. So just like the old tabs widget, you could usually just write text in here. Uh, but now you can do a lot more than that. You can actually drag any widget into the tabs widget. So I can put in a heading, I can put in an image, um, I can create sections in here. We could put in a map. So uh, you can do all these kinds of things and then you can go to the second tab and add different widgets in here, like a video um, or a button. And if you close this, you can see that each tab has its own widgets. So how can we use these to uh, make our website designs better? Let me show you an example. So if we come here to Tesla's website, we can see that on their website, they have a really nice section here that has different features of the car. And these are actually tabs. So if we click on the first tab, we see it has navigate on autopilot and it has an animation or a video of that feature. And then you can click on the other ones like summon, auto park. So if you wanted to make this in Elementor before, it would be impossible to do, it would be very difficult. Uh, but now with nested tabs, it's really easy. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it as an example. So how can we do it? First, let's bring in a new tabs widget. And the first thing we have to do is work on the layout, right? So for example, here we can see that we have the graphic first and the tabs here at the bottom. Before you could not rearrange uh, the tabs this way, but now you can. So for example, um, first let's expand this section a little bit here. So I'm gonna make this uh, a little bit taller. So I'll make this section a little bit taller like this. Let's do 550. And then I want the content to be in the middle right here. Um, and I want the section to be a little bit narrower, maybe 950, just so that you guys can easily see everything that I'm gonna do here in the video. All right, the next thing we wanna do is move these tabs to the bottom and space them out from side to side. So you can do that. So here in the tabs widget uh, under content, you can set the direction, let's see here, to be at the bottom, that'll put the tabs to the bottom and we can justify them, so that'll stretch them out. And then we can also choose an alignment for the text, like left or center or right, it'll be centered. So now we're already kind of looking like this, and we need one more tab. So let's add a tab right there. We have now four tabs, let's call this tab four. Now we can work on the style of the tab, right? So let's just, it's a black text with a line on top, and white background. So let's do that. Let's style the actual tabs themselves. So we'll go to style. And here we have the tab style. So we can have some settings right here. Uh, background, we're gonna go with a solid white background. Border type, we're gonna hit solid. Border width of three on the top. We see that line show up right there. And that's gonna be in black. And that's looking pretty awesome. We can increase the gap a little bit so that they're not touching each other as much. And we see that looks really good. Next, we can change the active and hover states. So we can see here on the Tesla website, they're kind of grayed out. And then when they become active, they become darker. Um, let's actually do the same. So we'll have the normal state uh, let's choose like a gray color, like a light gray, uh, like this. Let me just save this right here. 
And we'll do the same thing for the titles. So we're gonna make it that same color. And for the content, we'll leave that uh, alone. Next, the hover state. We, let's see what the hover state is here. There is none. So for the hover state, we're gonna do the same. It's gonna be that gray color uh, for the tab as well. Background, it's gonna stay the same. Uh, white. Uh, it's changing this here. We need to add a border. So solid, three pixels at the top. Border color is gray. There we go. And now the active state is where things change a little bit. We're gonna have it be solid again, this time in black. All right. Uh, the background color is gonna be white still. And the text color, let's do a titles, active, text color is gonna be black. All right, so now when I switch tabs, we can see that it changes just like it does here. So now we have that basic layout set up. Uh, now let's get to the fun part, actually having the content in here. So we can bring in another container um, or we can bring in a video widget. I'm just gonna do the video widget. All right, so here we have the video and let's do self post it. I already have the video files ready. And let's do the first one here. All right, that looks great. We'll set up this to autoplay and we're gonna loop the video. We're not gonna show the player controls. And there we have our first video. Now let's go back. Oh, I put it in tab number four by mistake. Let's just rearrange that to be the first one because that's supposed to be actually the first one. Now the second one, let's come here to tab two. Let's add a video widget in here. And so hosted, choose the video file. Here is video two, insert it. And we're gonna have the same settings, autoplay, loop, no player controls. And I'm just gonna copy this style to use it again. And this is number two. Uh, and that's to number three, which is this one. Let's do the same thing. We're gonna add a video. I have video number three here. And the same, let's paste style. And we still need to loop that didn't work that great. And we'll take this off. And then last but not least, we're gonna do the last tab right here, where we're gonna add a video. Whoops. You can also add in sections, but we're gonna add a video into this tab. And it's gonna be the last video of our set, video number four, here it is. All right, and autoplay, loop, no player controls. Update, okay, let's minimize this, see what we got. All right, so here we have the different tabs. And just like the Tesla website, we can do the same animations. That's really, really cool. This would've been really difficult to do in the past. And we can see it works just the same. Um, now, unfortunately, we can't edit the, the content in the tabs yet. That'd be a really awesome feature to have down the line, kind of be able to design this a little bit more. Um, but what we can do, what we can do is add more content to these tabs. So for example, we can add in a heading here and we can call this, let's just do heading one. And let's set the font color here and the size. And then we'll do a paragraph right under. And what we'll do is we'll set the length of this to be a little bit smaller. Let's do some padding on the right hand side. Um, for example, we can do percent and we could do maybe 75% uh, or maybe 50% is better. Okay, that's good. So we could have this heading right here and then we can go to, let's copy this, tab two. We're gonna have the same kind of design here and we can copy and paste uh, between tabs. So this is tab three. 
just to show you what this would look like. We can drag and drop between tabs. And we're almost done here, the last tab. And we'll paste the text as well. Oops, uh, text is what I meant to paste. Okay, there you go. So let's see what that looks like. So we have tab number one, tab number two, tab number three, and tab number four. Now, of course, each of these can have different, uh, their own different content inside of it, like we see here, these different stylings. Um, so that's pretty amazing. This was not possible before, just for fun. Let's do one more. Um, we could do a section uh, with another tabs widget. And uh, you could have, you could even have uh, a tabs widget inside of a tabs widget if you want to get very creative. Um, so that is something really cool that you could do. You could use this to make a mega menu. You could use this to make all kinds of things. Um, if you want to change the design of this, for example, you could come here and after the fact, change the, the orientation. So let's put it on the left. And we can see here that now we have a completely different layout for the website. So uh, it's a really cool feature. Um, it lets you build anything you want inside of the tabs widget. I really hope Elementor brings this to uh, more widgets. Well, unless they do stuff like this, it's really cool. If you have any question, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer it in the comments. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.